What's going on, people? So I wanted to do this video before I get canceled in some shape or form. Crab Tendo. But I want to show you how you can get great melodies, tips and tricks, and all that great stuff uh, in FL Studio for free without using a MIDI chord pack of any sorts. I'm not going to go into deep detail here. I'm just going to keep it as clean as possible. But I want to show you a few things here. Uh, the first thing is this link will be in the description box just in case this is just not your way. You want to learn how to do it or you just don't use FL Studio and this will work in everything. And it's free MIDI files that are chords and also infographs that show you how to apply the circle of fifth rule and, and how scales work in their different modes. Also, uh, the best one of all is my playlist where I have covered different songs in this technique as well before so you know just check them out because there might be something that you might like and i can cover some other songs that are very popular but i want to talk about the theory behind it and i'm going to show you how i approach that in this video so this tool again is in fl studio 20 uh, but it's also in fl studio 12.3 as well uh, and i'll show you how to do it in fl studio 11 because i know there's 11 heads out here but anyways uh you just go into this drop down menu here let me go ahead and go back and you'll see a tool uh, well you'll go into helpers and you'll see scale highlighting and you know you can select a root note i'm just gonna go ahead and just set it to i'm gonna right click on the c so right click on c and then i'm gonna select major and as you see the scale shift the ghost notes not the light skin dark skin parts <laughs> the ghost notes have shifted in the background here but if i was to go to something like i don't know uh minor natural you'll see that the notes have shifted. so you would use the highlighted parts the lighter parts as where you will put your midi files or anything like that and you will skip the darker parts so you know you'll know that it's not the harmonics of that particular scale like there's no uh so anyways so here you go right there and then you can just draw stuff out here. You're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and draw something. Uh, we're in C C major, so it's not gonna be really sexy right now. But and I'm gonna go ahead and work work with that. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control A, draw some uh, whole notes, and just drop stuff down. Here you go. You know, you can just go from there and just build your scales. It's, it's just real simple. It's real simple. Like, there's no anything additional needed. You don't have to spend any extra money. This is 100% free. You don't have to do that. You don't have to uh, spend your money on stuff like that. And, you know, if I want to do, like, I guess half notes, just do this. Boom. And just keep on going. I, I mean, I can just rearrange just like how I would normally. This is just a faster way of just... And... You know, I'll just go ahead and just put something else here because I didn't use the whole bar. There we go. Go down. And, you know, if that isn't your steez, you know, you can just go ahead and just delete whatever and start all over again. Start all over again. It's just, it's just real simple, man. I'm going to go back into my C minor stuff because that's what you do. And, and if you're into the dark trap stuff anyways, most of your favorite uh, producers, they use that particular scale. And I'm starting to say producers like Curtis King. God dang, I need to stop hanging around that guy so much. Producers. Use the producers. But yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Right. There we go. Boom. Just keep on going. Right here. And, uh, Matter of fact, we'll change it up. Make that half. Go ahead and press Control C, then Control V to paste it down in there. So you get quick work of just you can make quick work of uh, drawing the melodies. And uh, let's go uh, right here. Paste. Draw. And just make sure that you stay away from the darker lines because you don't want to use that. And I'm gonna go and uh, do something real fast here. And matter of fact, I'm going to show you another trick too, a little bonus trick. If you wanted to do some appreciation in between this, I do have another video on that. Now I did link it in the description box or a uh, card at the top right of the screen. And this particular 
trick works very well too. And uh, all you have to do is go into this drop down menu and you can go into here and we're gonna pick up a tool. We're gonna choose uh, Pidgeate. So that's gonna be Alt A, it's the shortcut. And now we have a Pidgeation in there that fits into that scale. So, you know, you can adjust that too as well. You can uh, change the range of it. You can make it uh, the range four, range five, range six. You know, you can do whatever you want, really. I'm going to go range three. Uh, and then you also can flip the size of it, time manipulation. You can uh, make the, the pitchation slower, faster. Fit in there. Now let's listen to it. All right, I mean, and then, you know, you just go right into something else. Boom. I'm going to just drop that over here into Dune 2. I don't know what the sound is, so it might be something. There we go. Jazz bar. Slap some gross beat on it, and you got a hit, right? All right, so I did promise I was going to do something for the FL Studio 11 heads here. And this right here may help, may or may not help. All I had to do is go back into your drop-down menu in FL Studio 11, and obviously it's in 20 as well. And you can go into your stamps. You can choose a major, a major bebop, all that stuff. Like all the, the same stuff that you could do. The minus is the fact that it, will, it won't fit into the scale. So, you know, your first thing is you want to pick out the key that you want to use. Like say if you want to use a C major, C major, uh, and you'll see it's right here. Like it has all the stuff in here. And, you know, if you want to uh, repeat that process, of course, you could just copy, paste. Drag it to, you know, whatever level you want. Go up here. And, and this is actually something that ba that base gutter shows. That base gutter show everybody. And, it, you know, base gutter is the goat, right? So, you know, from here, you just go ahead and drag and drop everything. You know, if you're going to do four, like one bar, how many bars you want. I'm just going to go up here to nine. You can use those ghost notes to make you a melody. So, you know, you just do hit this and perhaps not as long here. Let me go ahead and shrink that down. Gotta make, gotta make something really cool here, or hope at least. From here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just control, control C and then control V to paste. And then I'm gonna keep on doing everything, make sure that I'm using the ghost notes correctly. I'm using majors. See what we have. And now, now there's a way to do it without having FL Studio 12.3 or or 20 if you're used to using FL Studio 11, 10, or whatever else. There are other tools as well, and this is really easy to do in FL Studio. And I will show you in other dolls. I, I need to do that. But you can do like augmented, diminished, and fifths, fifth ninths, uh, fifth octaves, major, major seventh, uh, minor ninth, and all that. Like you could do all that stuff within FL Studio here. Uh, and I'm just going to select a uh, minor ninth. I don't know. Let me see if it, it will still do it, even though I'm deleting stuff. Yeah, so it, it did it. So we have the minor knife here. And you know, maybe perhaps I don't want, want that last part over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Also with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this right here. And this works as well. Like this is a really good tool, like for real, for real. And I think everybody should use it again. And that is pressing Alt A, which is the shortcut to pull up the Pidgeos. The best way to do a Pidgeos, the best way you can edit them, by the way. Uh, you can do time manipulation if you want to do time manipulation. I'm going to go ahead and do a range four. Uh, you know, I'm just get something out of it. And perhaps I just want to make it, uh, let's go right here. And I mean, take this F6 all the way down to a F4. Uh, there we go. And there you go. I mean, you, you could do 
some pretty good melodies and stuff like that and not have to go and grab a pack of some MIDI just to have a gorgeous melody of some type or, or in this case harmony. That's another video that we'll do because we're going to have to talk about this whole counter melody stuff too because I'm so sick and tired of people uh, being misleading and just using misinformation and anything. So let me know how you feel about this. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will continue to deliver the truth to the community. That's what I do. <laughs>